today we'll be reviewing a Paul Rubens Glitter Watercolor Paint Set. Welcome to Drawing with Julie Quinn. To start out, this paint set has a beautiful shade of pink and comes in amazing packaging. Look at that shimmer. I found this on Amazon. Currently the price was $49.99. And this little tool here goes with the Paul Rubens um, paint pad that I got. I'm not doing a full review on that today, but we'll talk about it a bit. The reviews I did see on Amazon for this, I know one person said they had trouble getting the paper out of it, but that little pink tool there on the right comes with this for a reason, and it's actually used to get the paper off of the pad and it's attached on three sides and part of the fourth with special glue you see that and this little tool goes right there and you slide it around the glue once you get it in there around each edge and it pulls the paper right off it's pretty easy you know how to do it here's the box it's a really nice shimmer like the paint should and it comes with this cloth that it reminds me of like a glasses cleaning cloth um, I'm sure you could use it to polish your case it's a very nice case that comes with it it has a nice holder you can put your finger in the back if you like to hold your palette up and plenty of space to mix your colors it comes with a printed paint swatch and you can see here all the different types of colors that they offer but it also comes with this piece of watercolor paper here and it has the names of each paint listed a lot of this is in Chinese but it does have English on it too at first you think, oh, this is so pretty. Look at all this shiny wrapping. But then you realize you have to open each one of these individual half <laughs> pans. And due to the wonder of technology, you are saved from having to see me slowly open each of these. Now I thought, well, what if I want to know the name of these later? You see the name is actually printed on those pretty little foil pieces that I'm taking off. That's why I go and stick that foil piece on the back just in case, for whatever reason, I may want to know the name of that color later. Normally I don't, but I just didn't want to throw away all those little stickers. Now you do have room where you can store a paintbrush in the center of all of these half pans, or you have the option where you could add more colors to it if you'd like. I really like this packaging. I mean, it's just, it is very feminine. And it, I felt like I was tucking in a little baby into this box. It's just, it's cute. It has a really soft texture. I was very impressed with that packaging. So I went in and I did my own little color swatch here and was immediately impressed with how shimmery this is and um, it's hard to tell just from the swatch um, but it is beautiful it's not your typical watercolor it has a lot of really pretty shimmery shine to it it just makes me think of like a magical tape fairy tale piece. I really loved it. I, I actually went on and ordered the other Paul Rubens watercolor set that they have. Because it's just, it's a nice quality. It goes on smooth. So here's the book. Um, they have a couple different options. I have the it's a nice, beautiful leather cover. 
The paper's nice. Um, it's convenient, especially if you want to go paint outside like I have been. It's a beautiful spring in Ohio, but it's not refillable, which is kind of a pain. You get this beautiful leather cover and then you don't have the option to get refills from them. Now you could just kind of glue in your own paper pad if you bought a paper pad either from them or someone else, which might be what I would do. I hate the idea of just wasting that beautiful pink portable leather cover once I'm done with the paper pad. And I'm sketched out a fairy because just looking at these colors, like I said, they made me think of a fantasy, magical type piece. So I did my little character that's inspired for by my uh, three-year-old Molly. And you can see how beautiful that hair is. It's just like a shimmery gold and bronze to get those brown and gold tones. And this doesn't layer like your typical watercolor. Um, reminds me more maybe a little bit of a gouache because you can actually easily put a lighter color on top of a dark color which it just has a different texture than your standard watercolor because it has those metallics in it so it just gives you a lot of different options on what you can do now this I'm not painting on the paint pad, but I did do that painting, that floral painting on the paint pad later that I showed the picture of earlier. And you can see all the different shading you can get. It gives you a lot of depth. It's just such pretty colors. Now, I have kind of a different illustrative style. I mean, I'm going to go in here and add line art. Uh, I know a lot of watercolors won't do that. It's just me. That's just how I like it. I kind of like that type of illustration. I did a lot of different shades and tones on the face, and then I did a butterfly wing kind of based on a monarch pattern in the wings but obviously very different colors to coordinate with my cute little fairy theme and just with my light shining on here you can tell exactly how metallic and shimmery this is it's so pretty my girls really loved all the glitter. You could make some amazing cards for holidays or birthdays with the glitter metallics. I think that would look really nice. I especially love the florals that I did with it. It just really adds something special to something, especially if you're going to gift it. I'm not quite sure how this might look framed, so I'll have to see about that if I frame this piece or something else. Here I'm just going in and playing around, and adding shading with the colors. There's so many different shades of pink. Sorry, occasionally I know my three-year-old threw stuff at me while I was painting. So this was an interesting project. So if you see something fly into the frame that I didn't edit out, sorry. <laughs> but she enjoyed watching me paint the cute little molly fairy.
it's more depth by putting that darker pink over the top of the petals I added some shading this has such a nice variety of coordinating colors that it was just easy to come up with a nice type of color palette and here I'm putting down just a light wash and doing pretty sky blue background and that layer down really easily I love it I've illustrated my own kids books with a really simple style but these paints baby make me think about doing something more with maybe a watercolor for my next kids book because this just adds so much and it has such a magical look to it I think it would look amazing in a kids book and a lot of you probably would stop but I do go in here and add my line art definitely just depends on your style but I like that kind of cartoony look I like the little bit of extra definition I've been trying to actually force myself not to do that as much but I know some people really prefer not having the line art on watercolor, but I like it, so I guess that's what really matters. Just tilting this back and forth in the light, you see all that shimmer. Obviously, I give this a glowing recommendation. I highly recommend this set. I don't think I've ever spent this much on watercolors, but they are amazing. I think for the price, the paper pad is definitely worth it too. There is a link in the description if you'd like to print out this art and color or paint it yourself. You can find me on Facebook under Drawing with Julie Quinn if you do, and post a picture. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.